And, and why should people find your comments about the focus of this election is going to be about jobs and the economy and that you're not really focused on social issues, given your background and given the, last, the track record of Republicans in Concord the last two years? That's a great question. I'm running for governor, which means it's the head of the executive branch, which means the branch that's responsible for enforcing the laws of the state. And as I, if I assume the position uh, in, in the office of governor, I'm going to be duty-bound to enforce the laws of New Hampshire and of the Constitution of the United States. Currently, the law is, and I can't do anything about it to change it, that a woman has a right to, to abortion. And that's the law I'll be duty bound to enforce, and I will. It's, it is a false argument in the extreme for Maggie Hassan and anyone else on the Democratic side to suggest otherwise. It's fear mongering. It's worse. But what about what about limiting uh, rights now available to women in the state on abortion, uh, on contraception? Well, it'll be on a case by case basis to look at whatever the legislature may pass. But the, I don't present a threat to the citizens of this state. Uh, when it comes to that issue or other issues, we're unconstrained by the law and duty bound to enforce the law. We've got time for about one more. We've got to get going. But so, you're, but so, I mean, on this front, you're not going to be pursuing any issue, any, if you're elected governor, but, but the citizens can expect you to not be pushing the legislature or not uh, enthusiastically uh, encouraging them to pass anything that would limit abortion rights, that would uh, create a broad right of conscience for contraception, uh, the sorts of things that she's suggesting, that, that you simply wouldn't, you wouldn't be adding if, your voice to that in If she way. was suggesting that, we might have a different conversation. She's not. She's saying that I'm going to be the governor who's going to be able to somehow reverse the reverse Roe versus Wade. Which that's is not the question wrong. I'm asking, though. No, I know, I know, but that's not the question she answered. Asked but either. that's not the only social issue. What about well, funding for disabilities? People that you mentioned, Easter Seals. Yeah. My mother, uh, late mother at Alzheimer's was in Easton yes. Steel's in Manchester. They did a great job. Right. That was affected by funding cuts. That's an issue, isn't it? A social issue. Of course it's a social issue. But let me go to finish and Josh Rogers' question first and I'll come back to you. And I'll just let you leave you okay. with this thought before we have our conversation. Okay. My wife and I have been foster parents of a special needs young man for twenty four years. I know about what I'm gonna to talk to you about when I finish this. All right. Okay. So when it comes to fundamentally changing Roe versus Wade, I can't do that even if I wanted to. I'm going to be the governor of the state of New Hampshire. However, the legislature passes uh, reasonable restrictions like parental notification, which Maggie Hassan opposed. In fact, she opposed, uh, the, she wanted to repeal the very law that uh, Kelly Ayotte uh, defended, successfully, partially successfully. Um, she's extreme on that issue. I think there's a reasonable restrictions, and, and when it comes to contraception, that should be available to citizens, but there should be a conscience clause available so that organizations that are religious in nature don't have to be compelled by government uh, to do that which is contrary to their teaching. But they're not, not anybody who has spiritual beliefs that conflict with, that, with the notion of contraception, but should be religious organizations. Because what Speaker O'Brien proposed last year would give as initially proposed was any employer. I have to look at that. But those, those are the, on the sort of on the margins of the issue, the, the true fundamental issue that Maggie Hassan would like the citizens of New Hampshire to focus on the social issues, and I'm not running on social issues. Guys, we're going to focus on this gentleman right here. Yeah. In two seconds, just, we're going to wrap the door. I'll just, the question yeah. is... I mean, what I'm going to keep on asking this, because sure. you're not really giving a particularly clear answer. Well, I, mean, you're saying, I mean, I'm not asking you, can you as governor get rid of Roe versus Wade? I'm asking, can you, would you as governor support, you know, 24-hour wait period for abortion, the sorts of the sorts of proposals that have been pending in Congress. Well, I mean, some, some of those limit, limitations, those narrow limitations, certainly I would entertain those, but that's not why I'm running. I'm not running to advance that agenda. I'm running to advance the jobs and, and government reform agenda. Folks, there's a big difference, there's a world of difference between reversing Roe versus Wade and having a parental notification. Yeah, I mean, that, that's fine. Okay, that's thanks, not Josh. what I have to ask, it. but that's fine. <laughs> we can I, talk about this. I'd just like to frame this. Sure. What would you say to people that would be afraid that you would uh, cut funding for programs for people with disabilities? Let's put what it people way. should know is I support funding the waiting list, which was not completely funded. And so people should also know that I have a history of working with the disability community with our own experience. And my wife and I with a special needs foster son who's now 24 years old and has been with us since he was two years old. And, uh, and so the disability community will have someone who's not only open to them but also be very responsive to their needs. And uh, we'll continue to work with that community.